All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to install a Splunk all-in-one instance on a Linux server running Ubuntu. Before we get started, make sure you check the description for updated links and commands that we're going to be using in this tutorial. First, we're going to visit the Splunk Enterprise download page, and you can either sign up for a new account or log in with an existing account here. Once you get to the download page, we're going to click on the Linux tab and then click download now next to the .tgz file. Before the download can actually start, you'll have to accept the agreement here. Once the download starts, we'll go ahead and cancel it since we don't actually need this file. We are going to click on the command line button here and then copy the wget command into our clipboard for later. Now we can hop onto the SSH session that we have going with our Splunk server. First, we'll begin with making sure that wget is installed. From here, we're going to make a Splunk user that doesn't have a password. When we need to use the Splunk user, we'll use an account with escalator privileges to switch into the Splunk user. Now with the account made, we'll switch into the slash temp directory and then paste in the wget command that we have in our clipboard to start the download of the tar file. Once the tar file has completed downloading, we're going to extract it to the slash opt directory. To fix the permissions, we're going to change the ownership of the whole opt splunk directory to the splunk user that we just made. Once that's done, we can switch to the Splunk user and go ahead and start Splunk for the first time. For the first start, we'll have to accept the license agreement and then make a new administrator username and password. Keep in mind that the administrator username can be anything, but some apps and technology add-ons tend to expect a admin user to exist for some knowledge objects. So because of that, I'm just going to go with using the admin username. Once Splunk is done starting, we can go through the optional step of enabling Boost Start. For this, we will exit the Splunk user, go back to our normal user, and then run the Enable Boot Start command, which is going to allow Splunk to start automatically if the operating system reboots. And with that, the install process is complete. From here, we can go to the browser and visit http colon slash slash the IP address of the Splunk host colon 8000. On the login page, we will authenticate using the username and password that we just created. And that's it. You have a Splunk all-in-one instance running on an Ubuntu server. If you have any questions, check the description and feel free to post in the comment section and I'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.